Hello and welcome to a new podcast, a spin-off of Reopening the X-Files. We call this Reopen dot dot dot. But tonight we're going to reopen the pilot episode of a series that started back in September of 2005. I'm of course talking about Supernatural. Okay. Um, Dad hasn't been home in a few days. So he's working overtime on a Miller time chef. He'll stumble back in sooner or later. Dad's on a hunting trip. And he hasn't been home in a few days. Just excuse us. We have to go outside. The series created by Eric Kripke and starring Jensen Ackles and Jared Padalecki. I'm Nate, the Ultimate Movie Geek, and I'm joined by my co-host, Marina. I'm also joined by my other co-host, Freya, from Blondie's Adventures underscore on Instagram. <laughs> Hello. Hi. <and> hi. <laughs> so yeah, we uh, we're spinning off reopening the X Files, and we're gonna just do maybe the pilot episode of Supernatural tonight. Might go on to for further few episodes because I think the next episode after this is uh, the Windigo, which I, I do one. like the uh, Windigo episode. There were a lot of episodes in season one which I do enjoy. Mm-hmm. Um, but we will we'll start with this episode, which is obviously pilot. T- titled Pilot, and brings us into the universe that is supernatural. The Winchesters. The Winchesters. Go on then. Take it away. Two fit brothers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> why, why, did I, why did I agree to this? <laughs> Jesus. Fitter. Although saying that, on ITV2 when it started in the UK, and I don't know if this happened in America, but the the adverts on TV was that it was a, a late night scary TV show, but the tagline was, scary is sexy. Or scary is the new sexy. Was it? Oh yeah, God, it was, was and it? they were completely playing on the fact that you had these two fit blokes. Fitties, yeah. Calm down, ladies. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You had these two very handsome men who were chasing ghosts and demons and goblins and whatnot. This is like all this show, isn't it? it yeah. Not our show. Or supernatural. Not our show. <laughs> Obviously not ours. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, supernatural because it's got like, I am the third like everyone <laughs> and also people say oh I don't like scary so everyone likes to be a little bit scared yeah. and yeah. this is more tongue-in-cheek scared and some of them are quite interesting they explore yes. all the different realms of supernatural yeah so it's not just ghosts it could be you know like you said the wendigo there's all sorts it's so a it's, lot of uh it's like, it's like an x-files monster of the week yeah. every week so there's different yes. story quite often there's an overarching in the series an overarching plot but usually and very early on especially there was different themes yeah. every week um and then you've got these two guys who are obviously easily on the eye one more so than the other massively all right well, that's your personal preference no you my, hear a lot about it being the other way around my future husband no he's not. <laughs> no he's I, not. Don't, I don't think he's alive i don't think he'd look at me but no, well, what you can do with me i'm not just going to go quietly yeah you'll do for now um <laughs> Anyways, Son of a bitch. <laughs> it is, it's dead good and it's got a nice car. It's very got nice car, I'd like that car. It did have the old blood splats and that they it kind did. of moved away from that. Yeah. No, it didn't. didn't. It no, did it didn't. Later on. Mm, no, I disagree. I, I, I think they, I think they went did. hard at it later on because every episode started with a good old blood splatter on the, on the wall. No, not the late one. Not, not when you get to like the biblical story. Yeah, I, don't think, I think they used much. it off totally. Oh. And like watching this tonight, you, they can tell how they've aged. So like Jensen yeah. Ackles, I think he's a similar age to me. And he started off in like his early 20s. He's well, 26, mid, he mid says 20s. in the episode, yeah. he's supposed to be 26. And like him and Sam in this one, there's that, play, they haven't seen each other for a couple of years, but there's yeah. that playfulness around of brothers like slapping each other across the yeah. head and you know, punching Bitch. each other in, yeah, Jerk. same Jerk. Like <laughs> And then in the later series, that's, I mean, you still get the bants, obviously, you yeah. get the bants, but bants, bloody hell. you don't get the childish, <laughs> Leave them alone. you don't get the childishness. No. It's the innocence almost. So they grow up, yeah, yeah. Sort of grow up. You're right, because the, there is a, there's, there's an episode later on, I'm not too sure if it's in the second series, where they, they play pranks 
on each yeah, other throughout yeah. the episode. Yeah. And then they, they redid that or recreated that episode in a, in a further layer of episode. Yeah. But then that kind of stopped when it all got a little bit too serious, serious and, yeah. and Dean's acting started going like this when he's, he's proper his acting. His voice changes totally. Yeah. His balls didn't drop in his teeth. <laughs> they, they, they are. He you, his you, look yeah. at, you look at them both and, and in this episode, and I suppose this is the pilot, the, the fresh-faced yeah. youngsters. Like I think, like I said to you... Um, pre-kids, this is. Yeah, pre-kids, yeah. That kills you. Um, <laughs> Jensen Ackles is off the back of smallville where he was in season four of <laughs> smallville and then disappeared and i think he was written out of it after because he got this because he, he couldn't do two at the same mm. time so but and this yeah, is what continued all... for 15 yeah. years it's it's a long running show it's on its last, so series, last series as we speak and that's probably one of the reasons why we're looking at it yeah because it's 15 years 15 year tv show that's like Acting. from my childhood to me becoming an adult though. Like it's literally my childhood. I remember watching it with you lot. But how old were you then? Like, you you'd have been eleven. I was thirteen maybe. Oh no. Twelve. Twelve? Twelve. Ninety three to two thousand five. Yeah, but I've watched it like oh, later a few on. years right, later. Right, right, right. Yeah. Because you introduced me to it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and I started watching it I think probably about two thousand six. So I Yeah. I can yeah. remember coming into it and then going back to watch the first series because I think I came in early second series. I think I started watching it at university. Yeah. But then when I finished university, I sort of stopped and then started again round when I met you. Like, <laughs> even, like, we have Sky, obviously, over here. So everybody, if you want to watch anything decent, normally you have to have Sky or something like that. Yeah. And then it came on more the Freeview channels, didn't it? I mean, yeah. bar and stuff. Well, so I yeah. think that shows how popular it's, it became. It was first bought by it was ITV two on here, and but mm. like I say, it was that's what I meant actually. ITV2, yeah, and yeah. it was shown. It was a late night one, so it was like a ten pm uh, I think time slot. Yeah, and... so it was late on because I remember finishing work at the pub, and it was on. It was like, like on like ten ish or whatever, what, half ten. And it was on in at one o'clock in the morning as well. On Sky Living as well. But that, yeah, that's when when I T V two didn't want to pay yeah, for it. Yeah, and then it went to E four and then yeah. they just And E four Channel Four have got it now, haven't they? So Yeah, and you don't see it like no. as much. It's like they it, missed a series out. In the UK we we <laughs> we get it extremely late after what they do in the US. It's one of the series. It's one of the only series that isn't um it's so, like simultaneous yeah. in the USA, isn't it? And it's it's quite a it's quite a throwback to to old TV shows. Like we talk about the X Files a lot on uh, the Reopen the X Files podcast, and and that was say. Well, we talk about no, that. Right, no, no. <laughs> yeah, that was podcast. <laughs> well, I was going to say this podcast, but obviously it's a spin off. But um, it it was usually about. 10 months after it was shown in the US that we, yeah, we got, got it, it late, or possibly even a year and this seems to have carried on that tradition yeah I think it's probably the only one because I think a lot of stuff was caught up because of the world's a much smaller place now because of social media yeah. especially yeah. Um, and I do think they, they can't really afford to have the gaps although well you can't because see if spoilers I stay away from spoilers yeah you don't yeah. really see spoilers for this but I think the what they need to try and do or what people do anyway is if you don't get it immediately when it's out in the stream us it. you just find a, a way to yeah. stream it yeah. illegally usually yeah i can remember and i'm going off on a tangent now but when we went to i don't know if we were in mexico dominican republic. dominican republic it was the dominican republic yeah. and we watched um, one episode. We watched an episode and we were so excited, yeah. weren't we? One of the nights in our like dead nice five star hotel room. We were like watching <laughs> Supernatural. <laughs> we were um And it was like a season ahead. Oh, it wasn't was it? not it was crazy because it was uh it we'd seen adverts for it, it was like Thursday night or whatever it was. Yeah, the totally eight different. PM or nine PM supernatural and, and yeah, it, i remember the, the episode as well they have all the strange times don't they like eastern standard yeah, oh, time yeah. or whatever it yeah. is over there it's like this time oh yeah 8, 8 pm and 9 pm times, so, yeah. yeah so we don't get any of that yet because no. we were so small and that's how sad we were is that we didn't go out drinking on that holiday we, we sort of went back <laughs> we to, well we just did not that night that night we, we stayed in bed and and just watched supernatural because we 
people were secretly watching something that was a whole season ahead of yeah. where we were. <laughs> Are you going to talk about the pilot? Episode? Should we talk about the pilot yeah. episode? We, I suppose, yeah, we're just sort of rambling about Supernatural in general. So, Freya, mm. can you tell us what the, uh, the the story was for that episode? So, you start with Sam and his girlfriend, and they are at university. And she's played by uh, Adrian Palicki, who has been in a fair few things like Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., and she was also Wonder Woman in a TV pilot that didn't mm. get picked up. I don't recognise her from anything, though. Um, and he was basically doing law for his degree. And he'd like basically chosen this life instead of hunting with his family. And then Sam, no, Dean pops up, <laughs> his brother, <laughs> I'm getting mixed up. Um, <laughs> Dean pops up and he's like... Um, I can't remember the words now. You just quote, to do it. You quoted it. You were before. like, <laughs> he's like, dad, it's, it's dad, hard, has, it? dad hasn't been home in a few days. Um, I've forgotten it. A hunting trip. Oh, he's on a hunting trip. Yeah. So basically, Sam's like, well, it's fine. He always goes missing. But then Dean's like, no, he's, he's actually on a hunting trip. Like this is serious. So then he knows that it's like you know demons or whatever. Um, There's no demons in this. All right, not demons. Chill out. Uh, supernatural, oh, you're getting ahead of yourself. Though. Supernatural yeah. beings. Yes. Um, and then they go off and yeah, it's the white. Is it the white woman? It's the, uh, the white lady. The white lady. So, so yeah, so the the idea behind supernatural, obviously, if you'd listen to this, you'd know it. It's like urban legends and ghost stories that are, are found Things all over the world, aren't the they? Night, yeah. yeah, but the, they are literally. Stories that are found Things everywhere. Things that are told yeah. to scare people. So yeah, I think we've got a white lady story. We have locally. In yeah. our I've town. Got two yeah. miles away from here. Well, it's, it's the Abbey, isn't it? Yeah, Bob Bridge. Yeah. yeah. What? I white didn't lady. know that. Yeah. yeah. White lady story. She crosses the bridge. Yeah. Wow. But it is. It's like you don't really know what's happening because Sam is at uni, and then this brother appears who he hasn't seen for a couple of years, and then. As he starts talking, they go out like you said. They go, we just need to talk outside. Yeah. And you said he's going. You'd be like, well, what's going on? Yeah, Damn, why he's being weird? Tell me what's going on. <laughs> but it, it becomes apparent that the his family are hunting. You get you get the flashback in the episode yeah. of when Sam was a baby. That's the open, the opener. Dean is the uh, probably about I don't know seven, six yeah. or seven. Yeah. Um. And the mother is woken up in the night, isn't she? And she yeah. goes and she's killed by a demon. So she's on the top of the ceiling, bursting into flames. She's killed by something. You don't know yeah. it's a demon yet. Well, yeah, you don't. Well, but... some supernatural being. Some supernatural being. But and, I, it's and a good opener. It, it almost, and we were talking about this, because you assume that's why the father is a hunter. Yeah. And he yeah. starts hunting. They call themselves hunters, like anything that's supernatural and hurting the living. Yeah. And they go after them to kind of bit like quantum lake correct the things that are going wrong yeah um so because his dad's gone missing on this hunting trip he goes to dean uh, to sam who stepped away from it all because he wants a normal life that's why he's at uni trying to do his degree or whatever he's doing yeah. um and it is it quite quickly evolves really quick and they get yeah. back into it and like they pretend it the marshals and they sort of <laughs> go into this they follow in the father's footsteps and they know they're in the right route because the dad stayed at the same hotel yeah. and to be yeah. It's almost um, like a breadcrumb trail for the brothers to follow. Yeah. And that's that's what this series is is all about, yeah, really. Following it's following the dad's... Trying to find him, it, they? Yeah, it, they're trying to find it, but he doesn't seem to do anything. Um, yeah. Like John Winchester, who's played by uh, Jeffrey Dean Morgan, who... Negan. Yeah, Negan in The Walking Dead, he played... Uh, Oh, what's he bloody caught? Like Bruce Wayne's dad in Batman v Superman. Oh, yeah. And he was in. Uh, yes, I love you. Yes, I love oh, you. Jesus Christ. He was a hot Irish man. Well, <laughs> just, <you> know, <laughs> stick with Negan. <laughs> yeah, to be fair, Negan was fit as well. But yes, I love a, you. An absolute raving oh, I watched it even did. I know you did. That's why I wasn't in the room with you. <laughs> <laughs> Put it on again. <laughs> oh, nice. Well, when I die. I'm not going to leave you any letters, though. That's fine. That's me, I'm not going to leave you I'll be going to Texas. <laughs> He's married. You're not having him. Yeah, but she might, she might be dead by that point. So She might be dead. You might well, be a little shy. Get off the cable, cat. <gasps> um, 
I can't remember where I was going before you so, all well, disra- me derailed me. The dad, they go after, don't they? They try to follow in his footsteps and it's all about the story of a white lady um, and basically picking up blokes on a highway so people yeah. are seeing her and stopping but the theme is it's blokes who will cheat or yeah. who have cheated because she's very beautiful this white lady but i like the bit on the bridge where they stop where they know something had happened the kid's gone missing or something yeah. and there's two fbi agents <laughs> yeah. and they've just pretended <laughs> to be marshals and he goes agent scully agent Mullen. yeah, agent Mullen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but that it does um and that's that goes for the writing of the characters as well the brothers are completely different throughout and yeah it sounds like the sensible yeah yeah tight one. tightly knit yeah tight, that, that, right yeah uptight and uptight yeah that'll work but i feel like as you go through the series like you explore them both having you traits do. of each other's you like do. You, you see sam getting more like doing stuff that he wouldn't usually do and then you get yeah. Dean actually maybe wanting that life and he's yeah. always sort of wanted a quieter life. Yeah, but Dean which is quite nice. always comes off as the little joker. As yeah, well. he's the joker, he's the, he's the one who's one. the ladies man. Yeah. He's yeah. got a thing for, you know, he can't control his libido almost. <laughs> I couldn't around him either. No, I don't <laughs> Jesus Christ. He is a, a very aesthetic looking. Reopen, re- that, that's my words from earlier on. <laughs> <laughs> Jensen Apple's appreciation. Yeah, yeah we we'll just call that. that podcast. <laughs> I try and keep you on track. For, oh, no. <laughs> I don't know. Jensen, if you're listening to the show, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go. You just carry on doing what you're doing. Oh, Hell's bollocks. But Sorry. it is, it's a good, I think it's a good solid pilot. It's it is a good pilot, yeah. It's got everything about, you know what I mean? It's yeah. got the scariness, there's the goriness, there's, you try to figure out what's going on. Yeah, yeah and it, it's, before, now the series, I felt the series sort of got stuck in its ways a lot with mm-hmm. episodes and how it did its style carried on. Yeah, and It yeah. was very, very similar. Same-y. And this one, you could see that they were trying things. And I pointed out like that there's a lot of fast cuts and quick edits of, of the ghost yeah, moving. Try to get the effect. Try, try to just, like, did, like, sort of like jump scary, but not. And then, like you said, when at the end, when something happens to the white lady, it's very... The children take, I don't think. Yeah. They, and it, so they, they, like again, a bit like sometimes what we talk about in the X-Files where Mulder and Scully are bystanders, they're just part of yeah. it. Yeah. They had no involvement in getting rid of the white lady in this episode. Yeah. Uh, well, very little anyway at the end. Yeah. Where usually they'd be doing the salt, like, you know, like later yeah. on the scenes, oh, yeah. they'd be salting her and it's burning just setting the scene. Yeah, yeah, it's setting the scene and showing you what the universe but is and how it works. Yeah. A lot of, would you say, CGI for that? Yeah. Yes. Bit. And like you said, he shoots a gun, so when she's on Sam in the car, like grabbing his heart, yeah. and he's like, I'm not unfaithful, why are you killing me? Uh, and he shoots a normal gun through the car, which shouldn't really, unless it's got iron in. But it didn't, it didn't affect her because she was still there. Yeah, she and was still there. he is an established hunter at that point. He's been doing it for years with his dad, so he should know about rock. Yeah, you but, argue but that, yeah. I did argue that he had just got out of a jail. Yeah, He'd just been locked up in a jail. It's probably just what he had on then, yeah. on I suppose. But um, yeah, there's different things. And then, you, like you said, it does get into its format, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, it I finds its format in as well the first for a pilot. They probably wouldn't have wanted to go down like the like every pilot, pilot and it? Yeah. stuff like that straight away because you might well, that, you might lose people. Yeah. Well, that's it. You, you might just, not like it. You're just finding out what the universe is, who the characters are, what their relationship is, and what the hell's the going on with story, this world. Yeah. Yeah. And and the and the good thing is, like I said, it's a breadcrumb trail where they're following what uh, John Winchester's doing. And he hasn't solved these mysteries. It's almost like he's testing them to make sure that they're good enough that they're ready. Yeah. to do it. So yeah. he's pointing them in the direction of where to go uh, while they're trying to find him at the same time. Yeah. And, and it keeps the mystery going. So you've got, your, you've got your series laid out there because all you have to do is, like you said, it's like Quantum Leap going from place to place doing stuff. All this needs to do is put in right. Yeah, they just, well, you, just went wrong. You know what the quest is, don't you? Yeah, like, you know. Yeah, you know what the quest is. But it's it's the age old good and bad, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Good versus bad, and everything that's good in the world is always going to be something that's yeah. bad in the world to outweigh it. Yeah. 
but it also cuts the uh like sam is he's got a life at the moment he's got a girlfriend he's got a he's got university a good, yeah he's gonna go on to be he's got an interview yeah. he, on the he moment, knows yeah. where he's going he knows what he's doing he needs to go back he's just gonna do this one thing and then he's going back to the university or college and at the end of the episode you you mirror the opening when uh mary winchester's killed that where their mother's killed on the ceiling in fire and his girlfriend is also on the ceiling she's killed in the same way isn't she severing his normal life so that he has to go on the road mm. with dean to find the father and it, it's and a, like I say, it's a good open ask, you, ask yourself this question would that have happened if he hadn't have gone off to dean to find the father would that have i think happened? it i think they do say later on or spoilers for this oh, 15 yeah. year old show the yellow eyed demon does say that he did push him to go with dean to get him back in it and then that you, you get the addition of ruby don't you mm. later on but also the, the all of those children isn't there if you remember yes that they're all but we're, we're getting we're getting know, very very ahead struggling. of ourselves aren't we yeah it's just the pilot and i think for a pilot it is an absolutely but that's interesting episode yeah it, and that's where you get your series because yeah. he's no longer in that comfortable way. yeah he yeah, can't go back to anything out. everything's and he, gone and he's now that's it he's a hunter again with his brother and it is his choice to to leave as well because you see him uh, at the boot of the uh chevrolet parlor loading up a weapon yeah, yeah. He's ready and then he revenge. throws it in and and that's that's the end of the episode and it is it's a super like this, he says we've got work to do yeah and he shuts the, the thing in that's it i stand cut <laughs> <laughs> um interestingly now i'm not too sure about uh, i think he said calling this fang boy facts these most definitely are fang girl facts yeah all right well you can do them though well, you've well, you I haven't written them. I've just, I'm just got a page of. I was just going to say I wasn't going into fan, but fan girl fan. Oh, sorry. I was just going to say that it was uh, the estimated viewings was five point six nine million viewers, which I think that sounds quite low. That is low mm-hmm. when you think about America. Yeah, I don't know that, and again, I'm, I, I don't 5. know what the original broadcast was. Women. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all women. Yeah. Scary is sexy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, uh, but yeah. For it, what would you say? Would you, you say that's a good pilot? Did yeah. it hook you, or did you see an episode no, before the pilot? I came to it after. So yeah. somebody said to me, well, "I knew." Oh, you probably quite like we were talking about. I think something like Most Haunted, and yeah. they were like, "Oh, you'd like Supernatural. It's really good. It's like a different story every week, like two brothers." And I was like, mm. "And then I spotted it, and I thought, oh, I'll watch that tonight." Yeah. And then that was me absolutely loved it and went back right to the beginning and we watched it from the start yeah i can't remember if i watched the pilot first or whether i'd watched like an episode with you two Probably i think not, it's actually. quite light-hearted even though it's like quite a could be some of the stories are quite difficult subjects it's yeah. quite light-hearted with oh it, it, it is yeah, yeah. well that, that, that's their of, characters i think yeah because they don't go into it fully serious until until yeah. later on and season. they make it it's like you can't imagine it without sam being there yeah definitely can't imagine it without dean being yeah. there because he's the one who keeps it going yeah. he's like the what is it you said to me <laughs> carrying everything on his shoulders yeah, yeah. he is crucial i think yeah. dean yeah well, but, I, I think well. all of the characters are like when you get through the series yeah like you don't want people to go out of it are you talking about that like Bobby. Bobby, he, he don't, don't know. You know what I mean? I know. Twice. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they all, do. There, does it? they all do. Yeah, they take. That's an interesting bit that they do take death away. Yeah. As as being a uh, an end to something. An end. Yeah. Completely. Um. Before we move on to fangirl facts, <laughs> uh, we'll I'll discuss the original outline uh, by Eric Kripke, a showrunner was only the first five seasons mm. for Sam to become this to, for for a Lucifer and and Michael fight yeah, yeah, yeah. and the end of the world and to bring on Apocalypse and five seasons 
would you say that it should have stopped after five? I, at the time... Or do you like the rest of the ten years? Because it's gone longer than what he expected it to. At the time, I definitely was like, oh no, I think we should have ended it there. But because I love it so much, I love it. So, yeah, I don't (laughs) think it should have ended. No, I think there's so much you can do with it. Yeah. Yeah. They've gone off in loads of different stories, haven't they? There's loads of stuff, though, that you don't realise. There's a couple of things, and like this is one of the shows... Where actually, when you look into like later series and they start out and there's angels and demons mm. and Lilith and and actually you start doing your research. I know yeah. it's not true to think, but a lot of it is based on fact. Like, oh yeah, like, like biblical. Biblical yeah, stories. Yeah, yeah, biblical well, stories. It's very historical. Lilith, Whether that's fact or not is arguable. I yeah. think it's like there's loads of stuff that happens in it, and when you you think that can't be true, and you look mm. it up and it they based it on. And I think I'd never heard of half of the stuff. No, I'm exactly the same, yeah. yeah. I, I, I think Lilith, I'll just throw this out. That's why the evil is a uh, figure Adam, in yeah. Jewish Could mythology. Um, she was Adam's first wife, who was supposed to have been. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, listeners. She was supposed to be like made from the same substance as Adam, so yeah. as an equal, mm. yeah. and, and not powerful. part of his. His rib. And I don't know if I might have made this up, but didn't she initiate sex and got on top? Try of and get on top, yeah. And he didn't so like that. So she wanted to be better. She wanted to be in control. Equal, not yeah. Contro- well, yeah. Control oh, equal. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. you and go, that's, girl. That's it. Yeah, good laugh. Like, uh, <laughs> so she was thrown out. And the reverse then... cowgirl. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you tick the the, the button there for explicit language. Yeah, it's explicit <laughs> language. <laughs> explicit. Um, but yeah, she, I think she was then thrown out of Eden and uh, supposed to have given birth to like demons and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. But yeah, like you say, it's interesting. And yeah, it's, there's, lo- there's lots of little things well, and like stuff that they talk about, hist- historical yeah. things. And, and like and something based and stuff. on, yeah. It's well, like, like this somewhere. one, the White Lady uh, in Mexico, it's known as La Llorona. Who killed her own children? And that's in it later on, or it's in some of it. Well, we yeah. watched the film with La Llorona. Might as well. Yeah, which had. Oh, it was. It's connected to the um, the doll one. Annabelle. Oh, Annabelle. Annabelle and the one before that. The one that based Con- on the two supernatural Con- people. Con- yeah, the country. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. Oh, I do yeah, love that film. Crooked man. Oh, that's that's scared, crooked I like the Conjuring, but that because it scares me. It's scares like the scares me. The second one. I th- I prefer the second one to the first I one. I massively really prefer the second one. But I think it's terrifying. It's because it's based on a true story and the Enfield Hunt. Oh I, yes, I, no, yeah. yes, awful. Scares me. But I think it, it scares me more because we knew about that haunting. Yeah. And we've heard the like we've the real the tapes real and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, oh my like god, it's creepy yeah. as hell. Yeah, it's a good one. Yeah. Um. All right, we'll get on to the fangirl facts. <laughs> fangirl facts, love it. <laughs> last Why am I doing this? Last to do a jingle. Fangirl, fangirl. Yeah. Well, you two could do that. <laughs> yeah, we'll thought it would just be a complete coffee. Yeah, it'd just be coffee off. Yeah. Uh, this was the only episode uh, of the show filmed in LA. The rest of the series has been shot in Vancouver. Of course. It's almost because, like the X Files, did that. Mm. It was all all in Canada. It's cheaper. And then after seasons, after the film, it went back. To it LA, went to LA, LA and <laughs> filmed yeah. that, and you can tell. And they're all brown. They're all brown. <laughs> Something else. Mother's time, tanned, isn't instead it? of it being freezing. <laughs> <laughs> and none of those forest episodes. Uh, the episode features a cheeky nod to the TV show that many initially claimed it aped. The X Files, oh. as Dean walks past an in- investigating pair of FBI agents, and he says, "Hello, Agent Mulder. Hello, Agent Scully." Yeah. He doesn't say hello. He doesn't say hello. He just says, "No, Agent Mulder." Now this one, I said to you, didn't I? When Dean bashes the door down when uh, Sam's lying on the bed the and he sees his yeah. girlfriend, yeah. and I said to you, oh, "Dean was the one who stuck her on the ceiling and set fire to her, didn't I?" <laughs> Right. In one version of the pilot script that Eric Kripke turned into the studio, the episode ended with the Winchester boys finding their dad dead on the ceiling. Oh. In another version of the pilot script, Sam suspected Dean of being a serial killer and of murdering their father. Oh no, I don't like that. I well, don't obviously, it doesn't work. It's that too dark, isn't it? Dark. That 
that would yeah. totally that would never work. Series altogether. You've got to be careful with dark stuff because Dexter works, but there's not many yeah. that do. Mm -hmm. Oh, Although Dexter. the end, don't even start me in the end of Dexter. Oh my god, I know. Well, you'll hopefully get a, a reopen yeah, Dexter hopefully. files or whatever. Yeah. I don't want Deborah back actually. though, she did me titties in. <laughs> I wouldn't mind doing the pilot episode of Dexter. Can we? Good, no, yeah. please. I'm not doing it tonight. No, not tonight. That's tonight. tonight. <laughs> <laughs> uh, funnily enough, uh, our recent episode of Reopen the X-Files, uh, Too Shy, went up tonight. Too Shy, Too shy, shy, oh, shy. Oh God's sake. Shy, shy, shy. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh it's corporate synergy this <laughs> <laughs> um it was directed by david nutter too shy too shy and the pilot episode of supernatural was also directed by david, david nutter mm. lots of connections lots there. of connections um uh, Jensen Ackles originally read for the part of Sam Winchester. Yeah, I heard oh, this. Now, it would not have worked. I don't, I don't know. Worked. Well, it, it clearly they didn't think it would, would no. either. Yeah. But he's too, well, he's too like, he yes, he is. Too, too like cheeky. pretty boy. Because he, well, he's a pretty Just, boy, isn't he? No, he's not. Really. Not Sa the Sam different. is different. Sam is, he's a very good looking man. I think if you yeah. saw him in real life, even on the TV, he's handsome. If you saw him in real life, you'd probably be like, oh my god, he's yeah, gorgeous. Yeah. Dean Winchester is on a different plane. Yeah. And I think Sam, uh, Jared Padalecki plays like that geeky side yeah. really well. And I don't think yeah, Dean would have. Yeah, he's quite lofty, isn't he? He's yeah. quite tall and I don't know. This, yeah, that wouldn't have worked. Wouldn't have worked. No. Oh, I don't even like to think about it actually. Oh, I might have to go back and watch this. <clears throat> but in the pilot episode, the tree that is in front of the Winchester's family home is in the master shot. And if you watch closely as the camera pans around, you clearly see the two limbs of it wrap around the outside of what is the infant's Yeah, room. no, I saw that before I almost said that to you. Oh, and that's the first time I've noticed. You only see, you see the shadow. You see a little shadow of the branch, don't you? But it's clearly yeah. is moving as if it's protecting. Do you know what? That's so weird. Protecting or laying claim to sound. I should have oh. said that that's before. Quite, I'll, like I say, I'd have to rewatch that, that, that and make sure that it does, it but that time. sounds quite great. I've got a bit of goosebumps. Like, yeah. I like that sort of stuff. And that just reminds me of Poltergeist. Yes, yeah. and it, it annoys me it when I miss me stuff out. like when that. When we moved here, we've got a huge tree outside of our bedroom yeah, window. Yeah. And yeah, the third thing I thought was that better not ever yeah. come in this house. And sometimes, <laughs> suck one of us out. sometimes oh. it knocks on the window. It does. It not, well, it's not on the window, on the side of the house. No, it's not like on the window. It shouldn't be out of reach, the window. Yeah. Well, it did when it needed cutting. That and the owl telling us very oh, about God, the fourth yeah. time before. Oh, the owl yeah. sat in it, scooting out. Oh. Uh, the show was pitched as Supernatural Star Wars, with Dean being Han Solo and Sam being Luke Skywalker, and I think yeah. the characters there do yeah. sort of mimic them. Uh, while Sam is flicking through newspapers in the hotel room, the name Kripke can be seen referring to <laughs> the show's creator. Uh, yeah, but I like that there's, is it um, Robert Singer? Oh yeah, Bobby yes, Singer. Bobby Singer's everywhere. Bobby. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's, he's a producer, yeah. isn't he? Yeah. Uh, while inter interrogated by the police, Dean gives his name as Ted Nugent, yeah, hard does. rock guitarist, making it the first rock music related alias used in the show yeah. of many. <laughs> yeah, some of them are really funny. Uh, Sam's six month birthday is, in no is on November 2nd. Uh, <laughs> Because his birth date is May the second, nineteen eighty three. Oh my so god! Weird. Same birthday as you. Same birthday as me. Two years older than older, me. Yeah. Supposedly. Wow. I could have been one of those demon kids. You could well. It would not surprise me. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise demon me. child. Thanks. Yeah. I seen in the first scene of the pilot in two thousand seven. This also uh, is the birthday of executive producer and creator Eric Kripke's son, oh. which Kripke describes as creepy. So. He wrote Sam, and then his son was born <laughs> on the same day. Oh my god. That's cool. Uh, the scene where Sam and Dean researched in the library was the first scene of the show to be filmed. Aww. Oh yeah, because he takes over the computer, doesn't he? Yeah, and he gets told to he's a control freak. Another fangirl fact is when um, Sam is criticising Dean for having cassette tapes in the car. Obviously, it's an old car, so it's going to have cassette tapes. 
and he grabs a Metallica, puts it, plays it, but what does it play? Back to Black by, uh, yeah. Back in Black by ACDC. ACDC. That's weird. The Netflix version plays Gift to the World by Loveless because the streaming rights are different now. Oh. When they took out, when TV shows uh, licensed music for TV shows, because streaming wasn't a thing then, all the licenses and all that oh, changes. Change. Yeah. See, there's two songs that remind me of Supernatural and it's... Carry on my wayward son. <laughs> <laughs> There'll be peace when you are done. <laughs> That's it. It's just empty, isn't it? It's supernatural. The music cues in, in this series are absolutely fantastic. And to be fair, it's mostly my taste in music. <laughs> so oh. when I had a tape cassette in my car, that's what would be in there. Yeah, I think I remember. Why are you pulling a face? I'm not seeing a Metallica. Well, we've gone. Yeah, sure. Hearing the static on his father's last recording, Sam says, you know there's EVP on that. And since the 1970s, Ghost Hunters, just like you two, because you two are Ghost <laughs> Hunters, aren't you? Uh, and parapsychologists have claimed that electronic voice phenomena are recordings of supernatural voices yeah. and claim to interpret the words. Others believe it's a mix of static and wishful thinking. And I say that you two are ghost hunters because you have done your fair share of ghost hunts around haunted places in the UK. We have. Yeah. With EVP and 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 all that so so so. EMF meters. Like EMF meters. We just think we're Sam and yeah, Dean. We don't do, we? yeah. <laughs> Female versions of Sam and Dean fucking around. <laughs> Carry on, Sam. <laughs> Yeah, but we did. We've had. Mm. I think you might. I don't know what your creepiest one. The creepiest one for all. We've been doing it a few years. We yeah. do it once a year. And we went to a place in Liverpool. Newsham Park. Newsham Park. And it's like, it was originally built as an orphanage, but then yeah. it was like an asylum and a and hospital. And then it was a hospital as well. And we were in the Naughty Boys Corridor. Mm. And it's up in there. It's a huge building. I remember it well. Derelict. <laughs> um, and it's kind of like a restricted head height right at the top of the building. And there's like every probably six feet there's a tiny little door yeah. in the eaves little cupboards. and there were little cupboards and they used to put the naughty boys in there if they'd been obviously naughty and the story goes because it was so cold in winter and so hot in summer kids actually did die in there because yeah. you used to leave them and we were up there weren't we for ages yeah. remember we threw it we were sort of there for ages and nothing was happening and we'd rolled like kitten balls you know with like the little bells in it. jingle things yeah little bells in and we'd rolled it and it'd been about 10 minutes and the, you, there was no way out apart from where we'd come in and we'd looked in each room there was nobody there apart from our group mm. with about five of us and we said come on we probably should go we'll go and explore somewhere else and we sort of turned around didn't we mm. and then we all of a sudden because it was like a long corridor we heard ting ting yeah ting ting <laughs> and then ting 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 and it, the bottom rolling towards it was rolling back towards now we'd no, rolled crazy. it about yeah. 10 minutes before hadn't we yeah. and we'd been stood talking asking out for things like you see in most haunted <laughs> and this honestly we were all yeah. there was five we of screamed, us there and it rolled slowly and then gradually back to us we all screamed and went to run and yeah. i stopped us yeah there. i don't know why i must have been that's brave. why you were and here and i said that's why we're here yeah, yeah. this is why we're here so we all sort of stopped but we're grabbing onto each other <laughs> Yeah. And then it didn't, nothing really much happened no. apart from we got a couple of strange photos. Yeah. But that, I can't explain that. No, and that like, was scary. We're quite skeptical, aren't we? Yeah, so we'll yeah. go in and they'll say certain things and we're quite skeptical. So, well, just before that, I'd taken a picture where the ball was when we'd thrown it and there's a massive orb like going across yeah. my and picture. they say don't the orbs is dust and all the rest of it but no but it was weird yeah i mean we've been in a lot of places and nothing's happened no. and you most of like if i buy you people say oh i've got a draft you think well you still buy a window you yeah, know you cold. explain it away but genuinely that was we've had a couple of things mm. but that was genuinely can't explain it i had a draft five minutes ago it doesn't smell though so. oh, for years just call it sam <laughs> dean <laughs> Uh, after Dean and Sam jump, that was a good story, by the way. Quite scary. Mm -hmm. After Sam and Dean, Dean jump uh, from the bridge, Sam asks Dean, is he all right? And Dean replies, saying, super. Uh, and that's because Jensen Ackles auditioned for the role of Clark Kent, Superman in Smallville. I didn't realise oh, that. Right. I do think Tom Welling 
looks apart a little bit better than he's more yeah, yeah he does more, more like christopher, more, yeah. Yeah. christopher reeve is superman isn't he there's more henry cavill henry cavill oh, no, i know well henry cavill yeah he's fit but christopher, <laughs> christopher reeve to me is the epitome of superman he's he'll just be the next superman. bond henry cavill no apparently it's going to be idris elba i don't i don't is it? Mm, i can't imagine him no well no mm. uh not after watching the witcher <laughs> Yeah, that was good. I love that song. That was great. I tried to watch that. <laughs> that was weird. I was a bit like... You not watched it? No, because I was like, yes, Henry Cavill, but then... He's not just, fitting it. It was a bit weird. He's not fitting it. He talks like this. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'll do my final fangirl fact, if you, if you like, girls. Go on. Um, when... <laughs> Gales. 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 That's what I talked about <laughs> Liverpool. Gales. When uh, Mary Winchester enters the nursery to check the infant... Uh, Sam. The infant. The infant. <laughs> the infant. The infant. She sees a flickering light and she taps the picture lightly with her finger- fingertip. Mm. This is a reminiscent scene of, uh, reminiscent of The Godfather Part 2, where Gaston Lachin is walking up to his apartment, finds a similar flickering light, and taps it with his fingertips just before being killed by. Robert De Niro. Ah, uh, so that's why they did that. Yeah, I don't. I won't get that. But it's just it's I don't foreshadowing that she's gonna them. die. Okay. What Godfather? Yeah. Well, don't maybe we should watch, watch them. them. And like we said before, you could argue that why was she doing that anyway? If she yeah. had hunting background. And I think that's why they've changed the story. Yeah. She's meant to. She's meant to come from a very famous family of hunters. Yeah. yeah. When you get into it, obviously later in the season, yeah. but in this. She misses all the classic things. She does. Maybe the she was having a bad you'd day. You'd have, you'd have like rifles full of yeah, rock pellets, that's, that's salt a, pellets all over your house. That's, that's another thing as well. Yeah, Charms but, all over your house. But he's not supposed to know, is he? Like, uh, no, the husband doesn't no. know at that stage until afterwards but and then he finds out. That, 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 you yeah, wouldn't hide that. so inconsistent. I'd be like, do you know how awesome my family it's, is? <laughs> that's the thing in it, though. Things do change all and the time. Evolve. And they And uh, retconned by later stories. And, and that's the nature of a show that lasts yeah. 15 yeah, years. Yeah, you yeah, have to change it. You've got to elaborate and change, yeah. yeah. It's like the um, how it always evolved and um, became bigger every season. So yeah. season five ends with... The tipping point it's the end of the world, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. It's the end but then, of the world. That's then after that, it. was it the Le- Le- Leviathans yes, from, from Limbo yes. or something Ooh, like that? Yeah. They were horrible. And then it? later on, it's something else, and it does. And then it has better. to be God. And... Yeah, God is the brilliant one. That is the best <laughs> one ever. Yeah. Like and he's writing a book. <laughs> he's writing yeah. comics called so where they ask yeah. the actual. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it is good. Ghost it's a really, places. really good series. Very like good ones. We'll have to do that. Um, oh, crumbs. I can't remember what I was going to say. All right, Cal. <laughs> All right, Cal from Most Haunted. Is that because we've been talking about Haunted? Well, that? you know what? Oh, crumbs. I'd have preferred if you'd have called me uh, Penfold. Stuart. Stuart from Most Haunted. Penfold. I'm not shitting you. I'm oh, a ghost and I can't. I'm the film. If any of you have ever seen Most Haunted, uh, any of our... US listeners, <laughs> Most Haunted is a, oh, it's a show from the 90s. I like Most Haunted. Where, I used to, until where, it got silly. Yeah. It's not from the it 90s. It was always silly. No, yeah, it well, wasn't always silly. Was it yeah. not? Not 90s, was no, it 2000s? 2000s. Right. Do you remember? It, a, a, Sam, yes. Sam, I can hear you. And that's I'm what was now. silly. I can hear you now. Spitting Wait, all over himself. He died. Wait. What? Did you know what he said? He died. Of what? Not <laughs> Death. Death. I think, didn't they put out a... Uh... He was a big brother. Yeah, he's dead. He died a couple of years ago. I think he had maybe cancer, I'm not sure. Yeah, he died. It's <sighs> a bad joke there, isn't there? What? Don't I'm joke not about death. No, it was literally this year. Was mm. it this year? January. Yeah, oh, I'm sure. Oh, they, my God. They released a statement, didn't they? 2020. 2020 is That's all why it's all year. gone to shit, because Derek Shakara's not... And Sam's not behind yeah. us yeah. anymore. <laughs> 
Derek Kakar is not fending oh off God, the. Uh, people don't want, people have no idea what uh, right. the most haunted is. They've lost. It, it is things. literally a show about people ghost, ghost hunting. It's a bit but like it's... ghost adventures in the US. Yeah, yeah. but it, the, the thing well, about taps, it. Remember the taps. Taps, Jesus Christ! But the, the thing about it was, it, it from my youth, the lead person in it was called Yvette Fielding and she Blue was on Peter. she was on Blue Peter and Sunday Saturday morning TV mm. and it was a series that was produced by her husband yeah so it was like a self yeah. uh, and like a cousin was the cameraman. yeah and it was like an all family thing it and was it, good back in the day it was good and then it went it was a bit rubbish. It, it the, the reason yeah. why it was good was because it was real yeah yeah and then what happened was Take away the Derek Akara stuff because I think a lot yeah. of that was just made up for the TV to show. Um, but the, like you said, what was it called? Stuart and, Stuart and Carl. Carl. They would go off on vigils on their own oh, and that everything would happen. They yeah. would get hit in the head and yeah. get locked in. <laughs> and it, it, it did ruin it, yeah. yeah. But it did start off really well. It did. But yeah. Check it out, it's usually on the TV somewhere. Yeah, it's a good laugh. You can Netflix. probably stream it to be fair. On Netflix or Amazon, I think. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's on Amazon, isn't yeah. it? Um, but yeah. And we're just sort of Rambling. coasting now. <laughs> Let's wrap it up, yeah. Should we wrap it up? Uh, so, yeah, that's that's been the uh, first Supernatural podcast. If we're going to do more, we might not. It... I think we should choose our favourite episode. Yeah. One go through different All three episodes. of us, yeah. Okay. Well, well, we'll do something like that. Maybe for Halloween. But we'll also do uh, reopening another series. Give us a clue. Tell us what you want us to reopen, and we'll have a look. Like, you you suggested Quantum Leap. Quantum Leap. You suggested... Oh, boy. I don't know. You didn't suggest anything, did, I, did you? Supernatural. Yeah, yeah you suggested we've Supernatural. Yeah, we've done <laughs> this. Um, and let us know if you want more Supernatural episodes, and we'll, we'll do that. Yeah. Yeah. So, tweet us at movie ultimate or reopen the x-files i might change that twitter account to just reopen podcast or something like that yeah. do that have you got a handle you want to at blondie's adventures underscore for all my travel pics <laughs> not, not that i've been traveling this year because you know covid have you not got anything on twitter as well oh mm, wait i've got uh, wait blondie's adventures oh Blog, travel blog. Have you got, you've got Instagram to, oh, I'm not to advertise. I don't need them. I'm no, fine. but you've got, go on. I don't, I post once every blue <laughs> Yeah, no, but I've what do you post? Them. Explain what you post. I've got, we have got two kittens and I've got a kitty page and people are crazy for kitties. Yeah. Coco crazy boo, for Coco the, boo kitties. You're also a thousand and we've only had them for like eight weeks. I know and I don't have the post anything. It's mental. It's just people love kittens on Instagram. They love food kittens and travel, so. Food kittens and travel. Yeah. And they don't like movie geeks. It's kind of a niche, niche following. So. <laughs> but yeah, all right. Well, I really enjoyed that podcast. I think we could do that again. Mm-hmm. I think we should do that again. Let's do the Wendigo. We'll have to get Freya remote dial in though, won't we? Well, yeah, no, she's here for three weeks. We can do that. Yeah. We'll do that, yeah. Because then we can get you to record your and then yeah. we'll just splice them all together. <laughs> splice. I don't know how to sign off because usually I say lots of the skies and the truth is still out there, but... Well, we'll leave it there because uh, I've got to go meet my dad on a hunting trip. That was so cheesy. Yeah, it was. And I hate you for making me say it. <laughs> It's not funny. That's ridiculous. <laughs> anyway, thanks for listening, everybody. And if you want more of this, let us know. And we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. Bean likes pie. <laughs>